Hello, Loot Crate. It's the Top 5 Show. I'm Christian. Hey, I'm Mark, and this weekend in theaters, Christian, you know what we get? We get one of those classic swords and sandals movies. No, no, no. We're not talking about Eddie the Eagle. We're not talking about uh, the other ones coming out. We're not talking about Triple Nine, but what are we talking about? We're talking about Gods of Egypt. <gasps> that is coming out, and I can tell you this, what? that if we did this list that we're about to do now in the next year, two, five years, this movie, definitely not going to be on the list. No. But we're going to do the Top 5 five swords and sandals movies of all time. So what do you need? You need a sword and yeah. you need sandals. I'd go back in time. I wouldn't do like anything like 1930s. Yeah, Lawrence Arabia's got the guy on the horse with the sword, but that's 1930. Oh, very good. Okay, so uh, classic all time. Charlton Heston, get ready for your close up, but not yet because coming in at number five is going to be a film that came out fairly recently. A lot of swords, a lot of sandals, a lot of abs. Gerard Butler and Lena Headey star in 300. It was a revolutionary film, right, Christian? Yeah, I think so for sure. It was a movie that it was, well, it was rated R based off a of comic book that no one really saw coming. This movie crushed. It came out in March of 2006, 10 years old already. But the fighting scene was great. That slow motion that's been overdone forever was really brand new, honestly, like the way that, that Zack Snyder did this. And it was a really great movie, the way that they pulled the, the from history. And Batman v Superman is not out yet, so as of right now, it might still be Zack Snyder's. I mean, one I'm going to say the Owl movie is his best, but... One of his best, for yeah. sure. Mark, number four would be The Ten Commandments. Oh my God, The Ten Commandments. It's an all-time classic. I remember my dad telling me when he was a little kid, he saw it, he skipped school to see it, and he just like, like looking at the Panavision, like just like, it's just sprawling yeah. around. The theater just overtakes you. That scene when Charlton Heston as Moses, who better to play Moses? He's got the two commandments, and then he, or the two tablets, and then he splits the Red Sea in half, and they run, they get away from the Romans. It's a phenomenally done movie for its time. A lot of Swords, a lot of sandals, and that's why it's number four on the list. A lot What's of number beards. three? Yeah, uh, coming in at number three is going to be a film that look. I think that this is a contender for number one, but you make a good point that maybe it's a little tiny bit dated, but look, anything with a Douglas boy, and I'm gonna like, whether it's Michael Douglas or his daddy, Kirk Douglas, in the all-time role, Spartacus. Like Ralphie Cifaretto in The Sopranos says, they didn't have flat tops in ancient Rome. So that's to be why it's not number one, just because of that. No, look, it's a great movie. It really is, It's a, it's for, for its time, revolutionary, like you said before, but if you go to the other movies that we are going to be talking about a two and one, I think, is an overall film. Yeah, those two are a little better. But you got to give a shout out to as a screen presence. Kirk Douglas is a guy that I don't care if you are enslaved or if you you're considering a revolution. If you are so, that is your leader. That's right. Number two. They certainly didn't have any flat tops in this movie, but they did have a lot of crazy gladiator Bull stuff. Cuts. Very similar to what happened in Spartacus, and that is Gladiator. The Russell Crowe, Ridley Scott film, best picture winner, and this movie is one of my favorites of all time. The guy's got a sword, he's got sandals, and it's got tigers in it, Christian. They, they bring out tigers to fight in the arena. It's such a compelling film that Ridley Scott made. It's a little long, but seeing Joaquin Phoenix in that role where he really emerges the dynamic screen presence in in his own right, but you're right. I mean, this is the movie that put Russell Crowe on the map as far as an all-time or at least decade-long movie star. Right. All right, then number one, Mark. Thank you for saying right after every one of my points. I really appreciate you it's giving good. me your sign of approval. You like that? Right. One. Number one is going to be Ben Hur. No, we're not talking about the one that maybe sort of is kind of finally coming out this August. We're talking about the one with again who? Your boy, Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston. Holy crap, what a movie this one is, and it's got one of the all-time great chariot races. And you, I say great, I feel a little bad saying that because the dude actually did die during the right. filming of this, during that chariot race. They run on, they, 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 they bring him off on a stretcher, and he really died. I, I think that this movie, different to me than Spartacus, I actually think this movie holds up today more so than a lot of those movies of the past um, because of the way that they filmed it, the way that it just, it, it does. It's, it's a very, it's the definition of epic. Yeah, and you know, we brought up the Panavision lens early. I think the exact same Panavision lens that they used to film Ben Hur is the one that Tarantino somehow dug up to film The Hateful Eight with. Crazy. So it's the actual lens itself. That's it. That's our list. Those are our top five sword and sandals movies. Now the question is, you guys, what are the top five that you'd put in there? Is Alexander going to make your list? I hope not because no. of Angelina Jolie. Which ones will make it on your list that we left off? How about the, the not the new Clash of the Titans or Wrath of the Titans, but the Clash of the Titans Val. with the mechanical yeah. <laughs> Harry Hamlin? I love yeah. that one. Jason and the Argonauts. Come Great. on, man. Yeah. 
If you're not already subscribed to Loot Crate, you should be right now. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, Schmoes, no, you should do that as well. Right. That's Christian. I'm Mark. And uh, we'll see. Enjoy. The There's a lot of good movies playing this weekend. So check out Eagles. Check out uh, the, uh, the, the Romans. It's a great sell. It's a great sell.